do BB fam lit. It's your girl, Bria. You know what I'm saying? And we back. We back with another one. You already know what time it is, my BB fam ladies. You already know. It is another day in the week and we feeling, feeling real good. Real good. Re real good. You already know what time it is, man. It's another day of the week. We got another video about to drop today. You know what I'm saying? We about to drop today. You know what I'm saying? It's me, Bria. Just Bria again. Belma, remember he is gone for the week. But don't worry, he's going to be back soon. We're going to be back together, back in action. So, since he's not here, I'm going to hit you with another What It Do, BB Fam Lit. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all have a great day today. I've had a great day. It's all good. We all here because we BB Fam Lit. And you know we got that love. You know we lit. You know this, man. You know this, man. But listen, we got another video going on, right? We have a video suggested by a subscriber, you know? And let's go ahead and get straight to it, you know what I'm saying? This video today. Is the jaw dropping moments and crashes in IndyCar history? Woo wee! This this sounds like this is gonna be a cringy video. This is is this gonna be one of those cringes? Y'all trying to make me cringe today? Is that what y'all trying to do? You trying to make Bria cringe today. Nevertheless, we're going to see what's going on on these. I'm going to see if my jaw going to drop. We're going to see if the jaws drop today. Okay? So, the, su the subscriber who suggested this video is Matthew T. Bounds. I repeat, Matthew T. Bounds. Thank you, Matthew T. Bounds, for, suggest for suggesting this video. You know what I'm saying? And you already know what time it is, y'all. You know it. You, you know what to do. It's, it's time to get straight to it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. It is a right down low with Dan Weldon, Dario, and Danica on the high side. And here comes Marco. Oh, look out! Airborne! Frank Kidd, he's upside down. I already on the first one. I feel my jaw drop. The wheels touched. The first Weldon one is involved. Bro, the whole car went in the air. We got him coming down. The whole car went in the air. Already. Okay, this is jaw drop. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Kimball. Oh. Oh. Mm. What a terrifying moment for Elio yeah. Castroneves. Yeah, ain't too bad, but... Wheel, the suspension coming in and yeah, this, over the cockpit. This is two races in a row. We solved this problem with the lotion and new car. They it's did that pretty long. quick. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's, uh, he drove on them folks. He drove on them folks like he was a monster truck. Down to the grass below Sebastian. Unbelievable. This is the move of the race right here. Look at all these cars he passes on the outside. The outside is slippery. It's full of dust. Oh. And he keeps on going and barely makes it. But he does. Right. Our firestorm over the 
Ray Smith, the next restart, where he tries to go inside of his Andretti Autosport teammate Hunter Ray who closes the door, so he goes outside, goes by Hunter Ray in one, and goes by Pagano in two. And look how close those tires are. All of this at 215 and 20 miles an hour. And this is the area where everybody has been spinning. I let go. Thank you. Real close. We need to get to the wall. Uh, has gotten into the medical here. We okay, go. we're watching on board uh, with uh, Elio Castroneta is now heading to turn number one. He's going through the chicane right now, Mike, over the railroad tracks into the rough, rough part, heading down to turn one. Obviously, Tony Fernandez is going to be behind. Breaking it. zone here, breaking coming zone. up. Getting ready for the breaking zone. Elio moves Elio to, the moves to the inside. Now to the outside. Yes. Whoa! Yeah. So, Tony Kanan literally <laughs> over the top of Elio's car. These must be as flat on Elio's cars. Elio's breaking Davy to go into right turn number one. Right oh, oh my God! I say what Tony's throttle stuck or something. Yeah. Tony hit, hit there was no. Oh, Yo, oh, like if yeah. somebody jumped over my car like that, I'm be like. I would uh, be. I would be like, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, pause, will, hold, hold, wait a minute. You will not believe wait. that Tony Canon walked away from this with, without a screen coming on. I would have had paused some things right there. Watch this down low, and Ray Hall closes the door. That's where you've got to be, Marco. That's where you've got to be. You've got those fresh tires, but not in the middle of the track. It looks so in sync, though. Like how they be. Look at that. I was going so fast at the same time. Yo, the car oh, looks like it's doing the, the pieces. Two came together. Yeah, Is he okay? Very abrupt end. So what was it? And then the tire came back and rock. Yo, the tires are gone. Respective cars. And here it is. Gone. They just start bouncing off of each other here. Hunter okay. Ray was going for a gap at the post and he came to Little front into, tire gone. Into Brian and the grass just caught the car and just flipped it violently. And very shortly thereafter, Ryan he looked okay. the double thumbs up. Watch this, Ooh. just a gap that closed again. It's Karen coming down, Hunter Ray in it's the middle. And Ryan Briscoe just the, Go up the and then it flip. The inside and, and, and then the front. just dove in. Like a dart into the grass. It did. And flip Briscoe. Bouncing going off. Here we are in Tony Kanan's car. Number 11, 7 machine. Oh, there's just so much oh. going on. Guys. Oh, I can't believe he got through there. I don't even see what, I didn't see what happened. He made his way through there. I cannot believe it. And if he hits he that He got tire, through something. Look at that. Oh, he just misses. And you, for a split second, I'm talking about, you know, for blink of an eye, he, mm. I said, Ooh. I'm going left. If I'm going right, <laughs> it's going to hit me. Well, that was close, bud. The time was got you, bud. Hello, wait a minute. Wow. And that did 210 miles an hour. 210? Oh, yeah. oh, his motor was definitely going. Somebody was very lucky there. That looked oh. awful. Oh, that's that, a lucky impact. No. But that is beyond awful. It's crazy. I hope, man. I hope these. Look, if you if you drive these cars, man, be safe. I pray these folks all right. I know this was a while ago. I hope they still okay. It's crazy. And then they still going through races. Right. Gone. That's tough. They gonna keep showing that one. That's probably like, is that one of the biggest crashes ever in IndyCar history? Cause that's tough. That's pretty tough. Oh, they finna show it again. They, they trying to keep making people cringe. They got it at all different angles. Oh my goodness. And then people were, oh man. Oh wow. That is crazy. That's gotta be the biggest crash in the history. 
in the car. He flips over the fence. No. Back live at Detroit, and the race has stopped before it even really got started. The pace car spun and hit the wall, exiting the pit lane off of that hump that comes off onto the racetrack. Uh, you see the safety team is there with the pace car. And, uh, and it's, it's a nice looking car. They're going to try and motion the field around, although I think most it's of the tough. cars have shut the engines off by now. Watch this. Just bizarre. Like he wasn't that, expecting that a, to see the Ooh, oh man, you wrecked a nice car like that? That no. is one of the fastest sections of the racetrack for the race car at speed. Celebrating and hit something. Yeah, I think he just got on the gas, unfortunately, and the back end came around because it gets the back end gets light going on. One driver looking to uh, improve in his ride is Buddy Lazier. We've got a crash. Let's oh, go upstairs. A big oh. crash. Oh, no. Terrible crash. No. Out of turn number four. Yo. About seven. Cars. About four, five cars, cars on fire. Cars involved in this accident. Shoestring budgets and uh, really didn't need it at that time. Now, let's see what happened. So two what, did, what happened? They were too wide. Oh, like two he cars gone. got together. Oh, they sparked. Together. Was, that's two. fuel hitting the wall right there. Right. Very oh. Like oh, oh my right goodness. There. Get oh, out of there. Everybody Stop, drop, and roll. Back. Get Run out. Get oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. That's Corey Witherill there in the middle of things, too. All right, let's talk to Robbie Buell. Robbie, first of all, camera. That was him in that car? Listen. No, See, she's well behind that was thing. him she in that car. Good chance to miss it, but there's a lot of debris up there. That, I think that's what really got to her. She ran over a lot of debris, oh, boy. and that's what really messed her up. Uh, it bent some of the suspension pieces just running over the debris from the other part of the crowd. Wow, there was so much debris on the track. Uh, the reason they do that, as I'm sure you can back up, Larry, is, is to dissipate the energy from the crash. They have these parts fly off the cars very easily to dissipate that impact. Uh, certainly helps the drivers because it does uh, absorb a lot of that energy when they hit the wall. Yeah, but it was certainly makes a lot of love with that guy. The, the drivers behind trying to miss all that stuff. Wow, here it is from another angle. Just a tremendous that amount of fire not there. Set. Yeah, it's on fire. Initially, yeah, that's Corey Witherall right there who gets Ooh. nailed a couple of times in that bright orange car. And it looks like the. Dr. Yo, Jack these are some tough crashes. Also. I don't know which one worse. Well, this, uh, that's the car that's coming, the car that's down the racetrack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, I don't know which one worse. That was tough. That was real. That was, that was cringy. I, I say, I say this. It definitely was what the title said it was gonna be, jaw dropping. Those were some jaw dropping moments. I don't know if your jaw, I don't know if your jaw dropped, but mine definitely did. That was, that was tough. That was tough. Like. These drivers go out there to have fun and do what they love to do and just be out on the thrill. Which don't don't get ain't nothing wrong with that. Do your thing. Do your thing. Have fun doing the things that you are passionate about. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Going and pursuing those things that you love and you know what I'm saying? Acting out the things that you love to do. Do that, but man, my 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 prayers are definitely out with all those drivers that you know what I'm saying all doing all them races, cause that's tough. That's real tough. Like they can really get hurt. I know, and I'm pretty sure they build those cars good enough to keep those races safe. Them crashes though, those crashes, those crashes were tough, very tough. The wor the worst two, I think, those is the one where the car come around a curve, and the other car pushing up against it, and it hit the fence, 
and it basically just crashed through the just crashed the fence down and just crashed up everything. And then it give you all, and then it plays so many different times at so many different angles. Like that was a tough crash, a very tough crash. And then the last one was with the other one was with the uh the look like I don't know about four plus cars just go and then set on fire. You mean to tell me that two cars? On the side, almost to the to the you know the side little corner, the curb, the wall. Go through fire, through fire, through fire. These make these men in here driving, and they feeling heat, hot flames, super hot. <laughs> it's in there feeling like they done they done uh taste the worst uh the hottest. Tabasco sauce, the hottest um, hot pepper in their life. No, it's way, it may be way worse than that. But I'm just saying, it feel, it's, it's hot up in there. It's heated. It's heated. You know what I'm saying? The oven on 500 degrees in there. You know what I'm saying? But no, I was just sad. Like, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad. It looked like I, if that was the guy. That they showed, like, right there, that they was about to get an interview at the end. If that was him, I'm glad he's okay. Like, I'm glad them people are okay. Like, because that's, that, that's tough crash. You know what I'm saying? Any, any crash enough to shake somebody up. But these people keep going. They don't stop. I bet you they don't stop. They crash and they keep going. They're like, okay, whatever, go. You know, no, new car, new race, let's go. You know what I'm saying? They do that. They just... You know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. Like we all should do in life. Anytime we hit in a curve, in a bump, you know what I'm saying? In a flip or go through fire, we shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? We shouldn't let that stop us. We should keep on going. That's how we do. That's how we do. How we do. Because we be, we fail. Lead. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, real quick, I just want to shout out again the subscriber, Matthew T. Bounds. Thank you for suggesting this video. I really appreciate it. And y'all keep suggesting, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep getting to it. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. You already know. You already know what time it is. It's BB Fam Lit. We're the BB Fam Lit Litties. I love y'all. We love y'all. Speaking for Bama too. We love y'all. And we yeah. Slow it down. 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 Slow it down for me. Slow it down for me. Slow it down for me. Slow it, slow it down for me.